Hi everyone, and welcome back to Storytime with me, Sammy. Now, today's story is about a group of animals who are struggling to find water in the hot African summer. So, they search and search until they finally come across a small spring. And all of the animals dig and dig and work to make the spring produce enough water for all of them. Except the jackal. The jackal refuses to work. Shall we see how the animals treat him afterwards? This story is called The Jackal and the Spring. Shall we begin? The Jackal and the Spring, an African fairy tale collected by E. Jacquetet. It was such a hot summer that all the streams and rivers ran dry and the animals did not know how to get water. After a very long search, which had quite been in vain, they finally found a tiny spring, which only needed to be dug a little deeper, so to yield plenty of water. So the beasts said to each other, Let us dig a well, and then we shall not fear to die of thirst. And they all consented, except the jackal, who hated work of any kind, and generally got someone to do it for him. When they had finished their well, they held a council as to who should be made guardian of the well, so that the jackal might not come near it. They said, He would not work, therefore he shall not drink. After some talk, it was decided that the rabbit should be left in charge. Then, all the other beasts went back to their homes. When they were out of sight, the jackal arrived and said, Good morning, good morning, rabbit! And the rabbit politely responded, Good good morning. Then the jackal unfastened the tiny bag which hung at his side and pulled out of it a piece of honeycomb, which he began to eat. And turning to the rabbit, he remarked, As you see, rabbit, I am not thirsty in the least, and this is nicer than any water. May I have some? asked the rabbit. So the jackal handed him a very tiny morsel. Oh, how good it is, cried the rabbit. Give me a little more, dear friend. But the jackal answered, If you really want me to give you some more, you must do as I say. You must have your paws tied behind you so that I can pour it into your mouth. The rabbit did as he was told, as he trusted his friend dearly. And when he was tied tight, the jackal ran to the spring and drank as much as he wanted. When he had quite finished, he returned to his den. In the evening, the animals all came back, and when they saw the rabbit with his paws tied, they said to him, Rabbit, how could you let yourself be taken in like this? It was all the fault of the jackal, replied the rabbit. He tied me up like this and told me he would give me something nice to eat. It was all a trick just to get at our water. Rabbit, you are no better than an idiot to have the jackal drink our water when he would not help find it. Who shall be our next watchman? We must have someone a bit sharper than you. The little hare called out, I will be the watchman. The following morning, the animals all went their various ways, leaving the little hare to guard the spring. When they were out of sight, the jackal came back. Good morning, good morning, little hare. The little hare politely said, Good morning. The jackal then came and sat down by the little hare and unfastened his little bag, pulling out a piece of honeycomb just like before. He licked his lips and exclaimed, Oh, little hare, if only you knew how good this was. What is it? asked the little hare. It is something that moistens my throat so deliciously, answered the jackal, and after I've eaten it, I don't feel thirsty anymore, while I am sure that all you other beasts are forever wanting water. May I have some, my dear friend? asked the little hare. Not so fast, said the jackal. If you really wish to enjoy what you are eating, you must have your paws tied behind you so I can pour it into your mouth. 
you can tie them, only be quick, said the little hare. And when she was tied tight, the jackal went quietly down to the well and drank as much as he wanted. When he had quite finished, he returned to his den. In the evening, the animals all came back, and when they saw the little hare with her paws tied, they said to her, Little hare, how did you let yourself be taken in like this? Didn't you boast that you were very sharp? You undertook to guard our water. Now show us, how much is left for us to drink? This is all the fault of the jackal, replied the little hare. He told me he would give me something nice to eat if I would just let him tie my hands behind my back. Once the animals again said, Who can we trust to guard the water now? And the panther answered, Let it be the tortoise, for he is very clever. The following morning, the animals all went their various ways, leaving the tortoise to guard the spring. When they were out of sight, the jackal came back. Good morning, tortoise, good morning! But the tortoise took no notice. I said, good morning, tortoise, good morning! But still, the tortoise pretended not to hear. Then, the jackal thought to himself, Well, today I have only got to manage a bigger idiot than before. I shall just kick him onto his back and then go and have a drink. So, he went up to the tortoise and said to him in a soft voice, Tortoise, tortoise. But still, the tortoise took no notice. Then, the jackal kicked him out of the way and went to the well and began to drink. But scarcely had he touched the water than the tortoise seized him by the leg. The jackal shrieked out, Oh, oh, you will break my leg! But the tortoise only held on tighter. Then, the jackal grabbed hold of his bag and tried to make the tortoise smell the honeycomb he had inside. But the tortoise turned away his head and smelt nothing. At last, the jackal said to the tortoise, I should like to give you my bag and everything in it. But the only answer the tortoise made was to grasp the jackal's leg tighter still. So, when the other animals came back, this was the sight before them. The moment they saw them, the jackal gave a violent tug and managed to free his leg. Then he took to his heels as fast as he could. And all the animals said to the tortoise, Well done, tortoise. You have proved your courage. Now we can drink from the well in peace. And as you have gotten the better of that thieving jackal, you will be rewarded. The end. I really enjoyed that story. I've never read an African fairy tale on here before, but I thought it was really interesting. But I want to know what you think. Do you think the jackal got what he deserved for how he treated the rabbit and hare? Or do you think the punishment the tortoise gave was a little bit too mean. Why don't you let me know in the comments below? And I've got some news. I've started a podcast, which means you can always listen to my stories while going to sleep. If you want to see my new podcast, click below in one of the links on whatever platform you're on. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more story times with Sammy. Bye guys.